I'm not going to lie. I'm not the biggest Amama Nia fan in general. I think the aesthetic, the messaging, all this sort of stuff, it's a bit like, you know, too much denim tears, political messaging and right speech sort of fucking ideology. Whatever. It's, it's annoying. But, but this new six shoe collaboration that they announced that's going to cover Nike, Jordan brand and Converse is, I think it's kind of the first time they've done this since basically Virgil's 10 collection RIP to him. This is hard. And I'm not really the biggest Amamania fan. I'm not going to lie. I think a lot of American people tend to like them more. I don't think they've kind of popped off in Europe. I don't think brand wise as much. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm talking out my ass. But this collaboration, six shoes so far. Wow. Wow. I think I want everything in here. So as you can see, courtesy of the picture available, you have a pair of Jordan 3s. You have a pair of Jordan 4s, Air Max 95s, Air Force 1s, and some other Jordan shoes and another Converse shoe that I'm not really giving a shit about. But the main ones to obviously pay attention to is the Jordan 3, which they've somehow, I'm not too sure how they've done it. I'm not too sure if it's because of the materials or because of the shape, but it feels like it's less blocky and less banana foot shaped, the Jordan 3. It looks a lot more slim, a lot more light. I love the addition of the quilted insole here, kind of uh, fabrication there. So they look fucking amazing. And also the leather is fucking plush and the nice fucking hairy, fluffy suede mudguard on the front there is going to wear in and look amazing. But my favorite pair, obviously, is the Jordan 4, one of my favorite Jordans of all time. That particular colorway, um, the muted tones, the pops with the midsole, with the black, and the nice pop with the insoles as well. I mean, the inner lining with the quilted and the lace slip with the white is beautiful. The Air Max 95 is fucking gorgeous. I think the early samples of the Air Max 95s had it be a reverse. I think, no, I think the midsoles and the uh, first sort of like shade or gradient here on the Air Max 95 was white, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. But now they flipped it and made it a darker color. And I think it works way better that way. So, and usually you don't get Air Max 95s in like lush levers. Air Max 95s are usually suede and meshes, especially towards the top here next to the, the, the lace stays. So, or ice stays, lace stays, whatever they're fucking called, lace holes, whatever. So it's quite nice to see an Air Max 95 given this like premium luxury kind of like bump. It kind of reminds me a lot of like, I think I've got the name of it. I think it might have been, I forgot the fucking name of it, but there's a particular level of an MX-95 back in the day. And I think, I think it was made from like premium Italian leather and it was all black and had like perforations on it. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. But that reminds me of that sort of era of 95. So they look fucking banging. There's also an Air Force One that just looks sublime. Like the kind of Air Force One you'd want to wear with a fucking suit. It's this creamy, almost pastely upper. Uh, you've got a really nice fluffy, cushiony comfortable pile cushioned lining on the inside looks gorgeous you've got a swoosh that i'm not sure if it's translucent if it's mirrored i don't know what sure what's going on there but whatever i fucking love it a crisp um clear white missile and what i've always loved is something that doesn't get done enough a translucent see-through type of outsole I think these are always a win on Air Force One, especially Lowe's. I think they kind of give it a nice little pop, but people don't do these too often. I think the last time I saw a big collaboration with like a clear icy outsole might have been the Kif um, Air Force Ones he did a while back. Those Kif ones were really fucking cool. And I think they were like in all white, like kind of harkening back to that kind of the, you know, the, the greatest era of Air Force Ones, which were maybe like late 90s, early 2000s. So that looks fucking brilliant. And of course, you've got the Converse, which I don't really give a shit about, and that other Jordan, which I don't really give a shit about. But so far, so far, in this six shoe collection, there are already four shoes that I already want. Allegedly, there's one more coming. I think the founder of Amemenia said there's a seventh shoe that we haven't seen just yet um, that's going to be due to dropping soon. So let's read the actual blurb. It said Atlanta-based boutique Amemenia is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year and has teamed up with Nike to expansive range of footwear underneath the new While You Sleep theme. One that has to be accompanied by a theme, uh, but a film, sorry, that's teased on Instagram and that's to be embedded below. Not only is it working with Nike, Thank you for the project, but it's Jordan brand Converse subsidiaries too, making it just the second time ever that collaborator involving all three collections as Virgil's Off-White did in 2017 for the legendary 10 collection. While we wait, um, 
a complete set of imagery for each pair. Um, AMM, Amemma Nia has provided a look at the first six shoes to serve as a primer, starting with the Jordan 3, which we previously spotted in the discussion. Um, blah, 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 blah. The color palette offers a refined flat pewter and violet detailing from there you got the jordan 4 you got the edge jordan okay so edge jordan 39 that one there which i don't really give a fuck about and then also the converse release begins with the jordan 3 which is set to arrive exclusively at Amanir online and on on retails oh shit really you can't buy these on on fucking sneakers so the jordan 3 is the first shoe that jordan 3 there and you can only purchase it on the Amanir site or in store Release begins with Jordan 3 Y uh, WYWS, which is set to arrive exclusively via Amamania online and in store on August 20th at a price of $225. Stay tuned for updates, including the preview. Shit. Okay, so the one that I actually really want, the two or the three that I'd actually really want, will probably be the Jordan 4, the 95, and the Air Force One. Those have probably been the three that I'd want, but that that Jordan Three is fucking gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm a I love the Jordan Three as a design. You know, Tinker Hatfield fucking snaps on those, but whenever I wear them on my feet, they always look really clunky and kind of unbecoming and cumbersome and whatever. But sometimes if somebody's able to make one, cause I feel like these are like non-lining, like they kind of it almost feels like they're like they've not they've they've been made without a lining. I, I know they have a lining because you can see the quilted inner lining there, but it feels like he's kind of fleshed out or taken out some of the padding and cushioning on the inside and kind of made them really light and kind of more of a lifestyle shoe as opposed to a sports performance type of shoe type of thing. So I do like them and I think they might actually serve my needs a bit better. So I would love to get a pair if possible. Let's actually see what they're saying on the Instagram account. There's many more details. Not more details there with the other shoe pairs, but you do have more pictures of the Jordan 3 that's due to be dropping soon. What they're saying here about the Jordan 3. Um, while the rest of the world rests, rest, sorry, we are shaping tomorrow one sleepless stride at a time. The Amamania Jordan 3 is priced at $225 um, and goes from women's sizes to men's sizes, available 820 da, 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 da. You see the extra pictures there. Oh, it looks fucking gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, wow. They've even got a fucking um branding done on the inner sole so when you take off the the insole which i always do the actual bed of the shoe has a little bit of branding on it too as well there that's pretty cool i wonder if that's like a way to sort of like stop replicas because i'm assuming some replicas won't have this little detail maybe this is like a a way to stop fucking fraudulent copies and shit there's some nice little hits on the lace tips as well look at that leather man look at that leather look at how gorgeous and high quality and supple and just beautiful that leather looks oh ho, ho, ho. i want these so fucking bad i am not lying i want them so bad let's see another picture here install raffle for amamania jordan freeze will hold an install raffle i love install raffles i'm not gonna lie i like that they're doing install raffles and also doing online raffles because install raffles harken back to the old good old era of sneaker um you know of fucking sneakerhead culture in general so i like that you can have the ability if you live close to get them in store and walk out of the store with them in your hand but if you don't live near you can obviously enter the online raffle which is probably going to be back door to blood clot and all that malarkey but i do like them i do fucking like them to be fair this this picture in particular doesn't make the jordan 3 look that great you know the other pictures make them look a bit better but i still do really like them i like the off i like the stained midsole here to give it like a vintage feel i love the really hairy suede use here i love the addition of the perforated nubuck on the uh on the lace stays around there and the tongue as well the a on the tongue is fucking banging as well Oh, I really like those, man. These are really fucking nice shoes. Any other details on the other ones? No other details on the other shoes. We don't know when they're going to be dropping, but I'm hoping they drop soon. I'm hoping the rest of the shoes drop very soon. But big up Amma Mania. Big up Amma Mania. Big up Amma Mania.